Hey, it's uh, for the speed wagon. Special correspondent with Katie after dark coming at you with another edition of On the Road with Speed Wagon. So, uh, I had a pretty good week this week, payday wise. So, surprise! Got another edition of On the Road. How about that? So, I'm back in Concord. So, if anybody's familiar with this area, that can mean only one thing. Y'all, I'm at the Whataburger. So, okay, full disclosure, I have been to Whataburger before. I've been to the one in, in Mooresville. Awesome. Some people say the one in Kannapolis is be the best one around this area. I'm in Concord, so I stopped at the Concord one. The one in Mooresville is one of those drive-in types. Uh, this one appears to be a, uh, a walk-in type place. <clears throat> it's kind of part of an old uh, strip mall. There's a laundromat on the end of it, so I can wash my clothes and get me a sandwich. So uh, I'm going to run in here real quick, get me a burger. This time I'm going to get me some motherfucking onion rings. The fries last night were trash. So anyway, I'm going to run here and get me some food. I'll be right back. So you can watch me eat me a bite or two, and then uh, I'll tell you how it is. All right. Be back. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> Swaddled in my, my little burger towel here. The place was jumping, son. Jumping. That's a good sign. A lot of, a lot of good down-to-earth working people. That's also a good sign. This place is famous not only for the Whataburger, but something called the Witch Doctor. I have heard people talk about it. Now, I'm going to admit, I am not brave enough to try it. Two reasons. One, I don't drink sodas anyway. I don't much care for sodas anymore. And two, I take a medication that makes sodas taste like shit. So, but a Witch Doctor is a soda that has like pickle juice and pickles and soda put in it or maybe it's multiple sodas I don't know back in my day they called that a suicide minus the pickles frankly I sound, I, I think it sounds like poor shit but so this couple this young meth head couple in front of me the, the fella got him one and uh, his betrothed decided to take a swig and she said I can't get the taste out of my mouth. And if she's wanting to get the taste out of her mouth, this girl. Nah, dog. I'm out. Nah. The place smelled wonderful. Uh, staff looked like my kind of folks. People, the, the food smelled delicious. Uh, you know, pretty, pretty typical of your burger joints, working man joints. Uh, I didn't go inside the Mooresville one because it was a drive-in. You don't go inside of those joints, I don't guess. They might have had inside place, but I pulled my car in and ate. Uh, looked clean, you know. Wasn't dirty or nothing, wasn't filthy. So let me give me a swig. I got my tea this time. I said the hell with the milkshake. Got me a little leak here. Burger towel saves the day. Good tea. Alright. Onion rings. No damn fries. Onion rings. They look crispy as hell. Pretty good. <clears throat> I 
I'm going to assume they're the same as they was at the, the Marshall one, but I don't remember them being quite as crunchy and crispy. Pretty good. It's a little thicker coating, more coating than onion, which is all right. <clears throat> I wish there's a little more onion flavor to it. They call what a burger, not what an onion ring. So look at this son bitch right here. I got the the double. I heard somebody call it the double stack. Two pieces of meat. I had them add some bacon on there. Because why not? You can do it. Do it right. Uh, there was a little pickle on top. There's a uh, mater and mayonnaise and lettuce, cheese, of course. Now there was another couple in there. <clears throat> Apparently, there's a Whataburger in Texas. Okay, totally unrelated to this Whataburger here in North Carolina. There's also debate about. Texas Whataburger versus North Carolina Whataburger. Texas people says their Whataburger is better than North Carolina Whataburger. Well, this lady said she ate at the Texas Whataburger and said it was trash. Now, admittedly, she's from North Carolina, so let's try this some bitch out. Looks good. That's a good burger. <clears throat> I'd love to see some chili and slaw on that some bitch, but um, otherwise it's pretty good. Overall, this meal teabagged the shit out of JB's last night, and I hate to say that because I got some good allegiance to, J to JB's all my life, but you know, they just had a bad night, I guess. So, this is, um, now, I can't remember which place it was that had the seasoned burger. You have to go back in the records and see which one that was. That burger was just a little bit better because it had some good seasoning on it. But, all together, this is a delicious burger. I'm going to give this place 7.5 out of 10. I'll have to try the Canapolis one next. See where that rates in the whole thing, but otherwise, awesome meal. I would definitely uh, trade two hogs and a winter air conditioner for it. Definitely worth that. Anyway, let me get to my sandwich so I can get back to pimping some insurance. Y'all take care of yourselves and each other. Try to stay out of a little bit of trouble. Until next time, later.